As a doctor, I usually like to tell the stories of patients that I was able to save. But today, I'll start with the story of patients that I couldn't help. So I used to work in an ambulance in Istanbul, and my job was to reach people who were to die in minutes and make sure that did not happen. You can imagine, we saw many patients that needed emergency care, but what stuck with me most were the ones who actually didn't need to be there. A child who couldn't breathe because he didn't get the pneumonia vaccine, or a pregnant woman bleeding out in my ambulance because she didn't go to her pregnancy checkups. And one thing in common was that they were always refugees. And there are almost 80 million people in this situation around the world. People who are unable to access the healthcare they need that could save them from deadly diseases. And today I'll share with you how we protect and improve the quality of life of refugees with HERA. So conflict, instability, and climate crisis will increase the number of this population to 200 million by 2050. And right now, Turkey, my home country, hosts the largest refugee population in the world. And we have been working there since the beginning of Syrian crisis. And that's why we wanted to start there. Forced migration leads to interrupted health services, which leads to more death and disability. And running away from home also means extra health issues. People who are forcibly displaced are 2.5 to 60 times more likely to have an untimely death. And in women and children, this number goes way above that. And we have known all along how to save these people with vaccines or a safe place to give birth. So imagine Aisha, she's a Syrian refugee in Turkey with her two children. She needs to get vaccines for her children, but everything is in another language. She doesn't know the healthcare system. She doesn't have her medical records. On top of that, she has to find schooling, housing, and income. That's where Hera comes into play. So we connect the people with the healthcare they need. And 80% of refugees in Turkey have mobile phones. So it was an obvious decision to go for a digital solution. And we also believe the solutions you have for mobile populations have to be mobile. So now Aisha doesn't have to worry about missing an immunization uh, appointment because she has all the dates in her calendar and she sent reminders. She has all the medical records of her children on her phone. So doctors always know the right care to give. And she can look up the nearest hospital whenever she needs one. And if there is an emergency, Hera can call the ambulance for her. And the app is very easy to navigate. And now Aisha's healthcare is not complicated. And we, in addition to that, we strengthen the healthcare connection by providing conditional cash transfers. So, so she doesn't have to worry about lost income or travel expenses. Aisha will receive a monetary gift for each time she's got, she goes to her appointments. And lastly, when Hera was first designed, we created it to be modular, so we can add new features according to the needs of the population. And the first real-time experience of this has been the COVID-19 pandemic. You can imagine refugees are particularly vulnerable to pandemics. And we were able to track symptoms and share information on COVID-19. And I'm also happy to say that our user base stayed COVID-19 free. So our journey up to this point has been marked with milestones. We initially got the seed grant from Grand Challenges Canada as the first Turkish team to receive that. It helped us to fully develop and field test Hera in Turkey. And right now, we are in the process of scaling to 30,000 families in Turkey, while also field testing in other populations. In 2022, we will integrate Hera to Ministry of Health Services for refugee populations. And there are other solutions for refugees in healthcare settings. But Hera is the most comprehensive digital solution. It empowers refugees to take control of their hand, health literally in their own hands. Our business plan is based on integration of Hera to existing healthcare systems where the payers are either the ministries of health or large refugee organizations and users, refugees, actually access it for free. 
Her proposed a unique value proposition by increasing access to healthcare for refugee populations. We save lives and we do it cheaper. Because you can imagine me going in an ambulance, giving oxygen, getting the kid to the hospital is a lot more expensive than giving a couple dollar vaccine. And in addition, organizations can collect real time health data securely so they can analyze and act accordingly. When we started our journey, we started with, with global health grants, but for financial sustainability, we focus on a social business model where the revenues from one country can be used to implement Terra in other countries. And here is the core team. We have doctors who make sure Hera is medically sound. We have business development professionals scaling out, working on scale up of the project and business model and people who make sure every element of our work moves harmoniously. And no problem can be solved alone. And we're all better working together. So we're honored to work with the largest children's hospital in the US and also probably the most famous university. We can reach 10,000 families with your help. This would mean 14,000 extra vaccines and 4,000 extra pregnancy checkups. Hera ensures refugees receive the care they urgently need. I hope you support us in scaling up Hera so that I can go back to telling the stories of patients that I was able to help. Thank you.